Right guys, how are we doing? Uh, well, I'm sorry I haven't been around much over the last few weeks. Um, just been really busy with stuff. Um, I started a new job which uh, has caused me quite a few issues. A uh, long story which I'm not going to get into right now. Um, but I just wanted to say hi to all my subscribers and to also all my new subscribers. Thanks for coming across and checking out my channel and showing me your support. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed my last few video blogs which I which I published. It was a lot of fun putting them ones together. And, uh, you know, more blogs to come soon, guys. So I, I'm just standing in the backyard at the moment. Um, to be honest, the weather's not really that great here today. It's really, really cold. Um, but um, I'm, you know, going to chill out here for a few minutes and then I'm going to head off to uh, work. So, uh, you know, so I may do another blog later on. But I just wanted to sort of keep you guys up to date on what's, uh, what's happening on my channel. Um, but I'll be blogging again either later on today, if not I'll be doing another blog tomorrow. Alright guys, so until then, um, enjoy the rest of your day there and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now. Alright guys, how are we doing? Well, um, I've just finished uh, work for the evening and I'm back at home now, thank goodness. And um, I'll tell you something, the weather's been really, really... Uh, shit here today to put it bluntly um, so how are you guys doing I hope everyone out there's had a good day um, I'm probably going to start doing a few uh, blogs like this where I'm going to spread uh, segments of my blog through the day uh, and then you know make it into one blog uh, like I've did with this one so um, I just want to really thank all my new subscribers for coming across to my channel and you know showing me your support and I hope that you like you know you like my videos and my blogs and for those of you that that have come across my channel that may not be subscribed yet I'd be very very grateful if you press that yellow subscribe button at the top uh, and write and comment down below as uh, you know I appreciate any feedback now um, for those of you that have been subscribed to me for some time now uh, you'll be aware that I'm a I'm a bit of an Apple fan. I do like my Apple products. In actual fact, I'm uh, recording this uh, this video using my iPod Touch, um, and uh, really pleased with it since I've had it. Um, so I'm going to start using it a hell of a lot more for for future videos. Now um, I just recently upgraded my my iPad and also the firmware on my iPod Touch to the very latest which is 5.1 iOS 5.1 and I'm really pleased that Apple decided to bring the multi gestures to the iPad one um, because that was only available when iOS 5 first came out it was only available on the iPad 2 which didn't make any sense because you know obviously the iPad one is more than capable of, uh, of you know multi gestures capability so that's one of the reasons why um, I updated to 5.1 because that was one of the improvements is the fact that they bought the uh, multi multi touch gestures to the iPad one uh, with the 5.1 update so that's really really cool what I want to do guys is I just want to quickly show you how it works on my iPad um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swing it round and uh, you know, and I'll show you, show how, show you how it works. So let's do this. Okay, guys. So uh, here we are in front of my my iPad. Um, dear old Steve Jobs, there. Rest in peace. So what I want to do, guys, now is I just want to show you the new multi-touch gestures gestures on my iPad One. Uh, now, obviously, if you've got an iPad Two, you would have already been able to do, to do this with iOS Five. But this is new for the iPad one. Um, so let's just unlock and bring up the home screen. First of all, guys, um, the way the multi-touch gestures work is really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> I want to show you how it works. Um, let's, let's first of all open up, um, let's open up Safari, okay? So, okay, we've got Safari open there. The Yahoo web page has opened up. And um, what I'm going to do now is just, you know, I'll tell you what, let's close Safari down. So bear in mind that Safari is running in the background. 
let's open up the app store okay so we've got the app store opened up here as well now so let's close the app store down okay so we've now got Safari open we've also got the app store open um, let's open up iTunes okay as well okay so we just wait for iTunes to load any second now okay so we've got iTunes open there so let's close iTunes down so I've got a few applications running in the background now guys as you can see so obviously they're running in the background and obviously if you want to access the programs that you've already got running on your iPad uh, what you would normally do is double tap the home button to bring up the multi multitasking menu at the bottom so if I do that now, double tap, you obviously get that appear along the bottom. So it shows all the programs that I've got open, iTunes, the App Store, Safari and Skype. Okay, so that's, and obviously to, to get rid of the multitasking menu, just touch the screen. But with the new multi-touch gestures, guys, you, don't, you no longer have to actually double tap the home screen. It's really, really cool. All you do now with four fingers is you just slide your you basically slide your fingers upwards on the screen and that will bring up the multi multi uh, tasking menu at the bottom so I'm just going to show you that now and show you how it works there you go you see that and I can swipe down and I can swipe up again and as you can see it brings up the multi tasking menu here just by swiping four fingers up and down on the screen just like that so that's really really cool I like that that's really neat but there is a, another really cool feature with the multi touch gestures so if I was to open up um, say we open up iTunes okay so we've got iTunes opened up here right now say for argument's sake guys I want to close um, close uh, iTunes down. Well, I can just close it the normal way by pressing the home button like you normally would. Or with the multi-touch gestures capability capability now, you can pinch and zoom to close the program down. And how you do that is just by using where well, you can use all five fingers. You just pinch the screen and you you basically pinch inwards. Okay, and it closes the program. So I'll just show you that now. So you all five fingers on the screen like that and as you can see it closes you closes the program down it is still running in the background but it brings it down and you're back on the home screen so let's swipe again and bring let's bring the app store up so we've got the app store now if you want to switch between applications guys again with multi-touch gestures you can do that and on you do that I believe I've only done this a few times myself now but you're going I think you use five fingers you touch the screen and you swipe across to the left or to the right but let's try it and see what happens there you go guys you see that I've just switched between iTunes and um, the App Store see that that's iTunes and that's the app store now I'm using all five fingers to do this I'm just swiping to the, the swiping to the left and swiping back to the right okay which is really really cool and I can do it again that brings up Safari and there you go guys you see that that's really really cool so you know obviously the normal way that you would do this you know to switch between applications is well the old-fashioned way of doing it would be to double tap the home screen like that to bring back up your multi-tasking menu and you would then if I wanted to switch between the app store which is open now to say Safari I would have to press Safari and it would then swing it around um, you know but obviously now with the multi-touch capability multi-touch gestures capability uh, you can do it all with your fingertips now so if I want to switch now you see that I'm just switching between applications I can switch back 
it does take a bit of getting used to um, but it's very very cool as you can see as I said you have to do it with all five fingers it won't work I don't believe it'll work if you use four but let's try oh it does work with four okay so either four or five fingers in fact it works better with four fingers to be honest I believe either four or five I believe and if it works with three let's try it no really it's the four fingers that you actually need because if I'm trying to swipe with three fingers it won't switch between applications all it's doing is moving the web page around but it's still keeping Safari open so you do need four fingers to do this to actually switch between applications like I'm doing here as you can see so um, overall guys um, I've got to say I'm really really liking the new multi-touch gestures capability on my iPad one I'm really glad that Apple decided to bring out the 5.1 update which included the you know the multi-touch capability now which is now available for all iPad one users um, so that's really really awesome so uh, again we've got uh, we've got the app store open here let's pinch and zoom or pinch and squeeze whatever to close it down and there you go how cool is that guys look just with my fingers I'm opening and closing the program down it's just you know the way it works is really really awesome you know I really like it so that's multi-touch gestures guys on the iPad one um, for anyone out there that, that, that that's you know that's used the multi-touch gestures drop me a line you know down below in the comments uh, let me know what you think of, uh, of this new feature in iOS 5 as I really would like to hear from you so that's it for now guys I hope you've enjoyed this little, brief little video uh, demonstration of the new multi-touch gestures capabilities um, I will be blogging again tomorrow um, so stay tuned for that and until then guys enjoy the rest of your day out there and um, I look forward to speaking to you all again soon thanks very much take care bye for now